Hello guys, not to Ace here, and I'm gonna give my in-depth thought of Ubisoft. Surprisingly, a two-hour conference without a major game being shown. There was no Splinter Cell, nothing, anything. Tom Clancy, well, Wildlands maybe, but I'll explain it later. Assassin's Creed, or uh, Prince of Persia, or yeah, but they got some game that I can say it'll be somebody it's for someone so before I give my in-depth thought of Ubisoft I want to just make a dress to say first is yes I mean if you read the internet there is like a Kanegawa conference that's basically Japanese game the Akiba beat Akiba story or those well Japanese game and I was gonna give my top thought about it but there was no stream so I really don't know what they showed uh, no ever US stream stream that so sadly can't really give my in-depth thought about it so well we'll probably find out in E3 in long run <clears throat> probably after E3 down the line let's just say that and then another one is well yeah there was I did watch the PC Gamer stream unfortunately the digital game that is what is meant for the PC sadly there's nothing really interesting for me to really give my thoughts about it. But if, again, hey, you know, if you're a PC gamer, you watch that and you do something for you, awesome. So basically, in that one, I can't really give my in depth thought on the PC gaming conference. But they did show game that's what's worth if you're a PC player, like Dawn of War 3, they show that one. There's a Serious Sam game. You know, of course, first person shooter for the PC is always better than console. Nothing personal, it's just my opinion. So, unfortunately, here it's not, there's, it's not, I'm not being like, oh, a console versus PC thing. It's just that I try watching the PC gamer conference. They did show some games, they show something that's interesting. Nothing for me, sadly. So, I really can't give main tip thought about it. So, for that one. I have to give a grade of an NA, not applicable. So unfortunately, I can't give a grade on the PC Gamer Conference as well with the Kanagawa game since I never really saw the stream. Both of them gets an NA from me, nothing personal. So with that, let's go move on to the Ubisoft. So the first thing they showed was, nothing, no surprise, Just Dance 2017. Of course. Not no surprise there, of course. Fancy, so colorful, so dance. Um, you know, it's a dance party, just dance. And now, the of course the surprise is it's also going to be in Project NX. So of course that means it's going to be a launch title. Just wait and see what happened there. So moving from there is Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah, it's another game, basically, it can be a third-person, first-person shooter, action, tactical game. You're in the wildlands, you're stopping drug cartel. And the best part there is, now you can finally use drones as your in asset to give you an advantage. Looks good. It's not going to come until 2017, but it's awesome, because again, it's one of those games that you can do a co-op campaign mode to stab, to capture your target. And again, you know, the key word here is team team base, you have to be work, cooperate with your team, that's awesome again, you know, if you like this type of game, there you go so the next one what I'm hyped for, when I saw it I was like, awesome, gotta get this game maybe and that is South Park Fracture, but Hole yes yes, so basically show how the game works it's much improvement than the Stick of Truth. Even the battle's now much better because what happened now is it's not just like a Final Fantasy, you know, turn base. It is a turn base, but now there's a grid. And not only that is that your fart now became. Remember, you remember your fart basically was legendary in the first game. It needs to help. You know, kind of. You needed that fart skill to unlock certain situations, but now it's become more <laughs> legendary that it can rip through time, apparently according to Matt and Trey, I don't know what that means, 
But I guess it's going to be the key for the future is your fart. But yeah, the battle's much improved. Now it's about superhero. And I like the concept of the Civil War. That's basically their concept of it. Because um, basically um, Captain America 3 Civil War. And they, and not no surprise, they also poke fun of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Phase 1, 2, 3. That's why the Civil War happened. And they said the game starts basically after the events of the Stick of Truth. So, your creator character or your main character was a hero in Stick of Truth. Now, all suddenly, because you're not playing Stick of Truth, you're not a superhero anymore. You may be a king, but you're not a superhero. So, you're back to square one. That's the joke. <laughs> but, awesome game. If you're a South Park fan, yeah, guarantees day one for me, a buy. And for people who pre order the game, or buy the game like day one buy, you get the free Stick of Truth game. I think PC. I don't know which pl- it's, it's, you can the platform you choice or just PC. Ubisoft base will probably have more info about it. So, but still awesome. So after that, they did the division, the underground expansion, more info in it. So if you watch the Xbox conference, they just kind of expanded on that. That discussion or that show that yeah showcase on the Ubisoft conference. Ugh, excuse me. All right, from there they showed a VR game called Eagle Flight. Basically, it's a VR game. It's for Project Oculus or Oculus HTC Vive. PlayStation VR. You're an eagle. You have a perspective of the eagle, and you're flying around. That's basically it. So it's probably one of those simple basic games for VR game, but hey, why not? So speaking of VR game, Star Trek Bridge Crew, which is another VR game, and they show some of the cast of Star Trek, Jerry Ryan, uh, that Borg lady, Carl Urban, of course, Young McCoy, LeVar Burton, uh, what's her name, Jordi LaForge, and develop one of the developer for Star Trek Bridge Crew. They showed how they played it, and they were excited about it. So interesting. If you're a Star Trek fan, I'm not. So, but you know, finally, you want to be in a virtual reality of the of a bridge of the Enterprise. Hey, there you go. And speaking of Levar Burton, whatever happened to Reading Rainbow? I heard that Kickstarter basically got a successful. Fun, it got success, successfully funded, excuse me. So what happened to that one? Why not, I can't, why not reading Rainbow VR? That will be awesome, you know. Reading books in a video game. Okay, maybe not. But, backstory is that the Reading Rainbow campaign was successful. And at one point, LeVar Burton did say that he doesn't mind putting the app also on the console. PS3, 360, PS4, Xbox One, you know, whatever, but. Who, who knows what happened. So, but again, interesting. So from there, they showed another new IP for Honor. It's basically a hack, and, mostly a hack and slash game. You pick one of the three group: Viking, Samurai, or Knight. And apparently, it has a story. But basically, it's about somebody causing a war. So that's what it's a war of a three-way war of the Samurai, Knight, Viking. So, that might be interesting. We'll see the reviews for it. So, from there, they showed another version of Trial, which is basically Ubisoft version of Excitebike. They call it Blood Dragon. And all I can say is, it's something that came out from an Adult Swim games. <laughs> interesting. Alright, so moving there is... Of course, you know, there is no Assassin's Creed this year because of what happened with Unity. And unfortunately, with Syndicate, didn't really, even the game was good, I can tell you. I would recommend playing Syndicate. People lost faith of the, the Assassin's Creed franchise because of Unity. So they said, we're going to take a break from Unity or with Assassin's Creed. I can agree with that. Instead, you get a movie, so they did show, like, a trailer for the movie, a backstage trailer. Of course, the main character is the guy who played Magneto in Days of Future Past or the young X-Men class The when they were still young. So, 
again, you know, because again, so if you want an Assassin's Creed game, sorry, there isn't one, but you got a movie you can watch for, but they, of course there's going to be one in 2017. But the bottom line is that they are taking a step back, not doing this annually like they used to do, because it wasn't even annually in the first place, but what happened was is they got greedy and said, let's do this annually, and it backfired on them with Unity, unfortunately. But so again, yes, there is no Assassin's Creed for this year. So the only closest one is, there's a movie. Looks good. I might check it out. All right, from there is Watch Dogs 2. Yes, the sequel to Watch Dogs, surprisingly, they actually the sequel because the first one, believe it or not, even so, they said it was successful. I can agree, it's successful. I heard a lot of reviews. I have played... I. Start playing the game, but I don't watch it really far yet. But I have heard news that the game was uh, mediocre at best. It was one of the supposedly a launch title for the PS4, and heck, there was even a basically report at a time that it was supposed to be an exclusive to PS4 as a launch title. But of course, the game got delayed. They had some problem with the game, and then when the game finally came out, I think I think May, it wasn't that good. But still, apparently it was successful for the PS4, so no different for the sequel, is PlayStation 4 content, exclusive content. So Watch Dogs did have some exclusive content for the PS4, so the Assassin's Creed Syndicate, you get the 10 mystery cases that if you basically solve them, you do get something. Same goes with this one, just like the first game. There's going to be some content exclusive first at PS4. Same goes with Watch Dogs 2. A time exclusive, 30 days before the other console. Again, you say that's BS. Well, Division did the same thing. You know, Microsoft bought the exclusive, paid them for exclusive for Division for Xbox One. So, Watch Dog, PlayStation 4. It is what it is. And lastly is, surprisingly, props to Ubisoft, always showing a new IP. And the new IP for Ubisoft is called Steve. It's basically an open world sports winter game. Basically, you do uh, jumpsuit flying, skiing, snowboarding, uh, what else? Parachuting, I guess, what it is. So it looks interesting for this. For this, uh, how do I say? It is just looks interesting. Let's just say it is a sports game, but it is open world. Uh, open world, but snow like winter games. That's what I can say. So again, interesting. We'll see it in the long run. It's supposed to come out this December. But the good thing about this game is, like they say, it's not just oh, it's just a winter sports game. But there is a lot of things too, like such as one is again, like it said before, the social aspect. Now getting together, playing together with the games, and now you can also share content. They show the feature there. So again, kind of really interesting. We'll see what happens. In the long run, when it comes out this December, so there you go. The Ubisoft conference, my thoughts about it. This one, another one, I gotta give it a surprisingly 10 out of 10 because, again, it's just like Rags of Wow. And the reason being is that for two hours, they show something that's interesting for someone, for somebody that is nobody like, let's just say, uh, left behind. So, that is interesting that, you know, you got some. You got games for the trick, the trickies. People who like the Tom Clancy game. Uh, weird game. Watch Dogs. Uh, you know, sadly, no, again, no Assassin's Creed. But again, I can understand. No Splinter Cell because they just had one, I think, last year. Can understand it. But again, there is a game, again, like I said, there's a game for everyone. The presentation is good. For something that doesn't have a sad screen and splinter cell, man, for two hours, that's pretty good. Aisha Tyler, being a good host, awesome. Again, you know, it does catch right. There's no stupidity on the Ubisoft. I know there was at one point in past conference, there's one with Mr. Caffeine. He was just really goofy. 
and then before that, laser tag. So this time they finally learned their they learned their lesson from that one and made an improvement. They just show game they're gonna show from 2016 all the way to 2017. So there you go. Again, 10 out of 10. So with that, the last conference f- for Monday is Sony at 6 p.m. Pacific. Can't wait to see what they <laughs> show. And then from there, I'm going to give my thoughts on who won the conference versus Microsoft versus PlayStation. Because Nintendo, I'm sorry to say, disqualified since... They're not doing a conference, nor a digital event. They're just going straight to Treehouse with, of course, The Legend of Zelda Wii U. We'll finally get more about it. So we'll see about that, so stay tuned.